Let's see how it does with the main part of the song. Yeah, very nice. I, I will say that uh, <laughs> Skullman's song is my favorite song in Mega Man 4. I don't honestly know what my favorite song in Mega Man 3 is. I don't really like most of the music in Mega Man 3. Like, it's good music, but nothing really stands out as truly amazing. Like, usually there's at least two or three songs per game that I think are just really fantastic. And Mega Man 3 doesn't really have any of those for me. Ah, <laughs> I knew the one of those would be coming somewhere. And of course we get more of those. Oh, and now we get a large energy. This is the first time in the entire game I don't actually need one. So it's what we get. <laughs> and that's how luck goes in this game. Okay, let's get the bubble bats out. I actually don't even remember that many bubble bats here in either Mega Man's 3 or 4. And damn it, damn it, damn it, it's the Mega Man 4 rush jet, the terrible one. Now oh, I'll explain in more detail once we're actually in a situation where we really have to use it and are not surrounded by billions of enemies. But yeah, awesome that we got a free life actually got one to spawn. And yeah, Pharaoh Man stage is another of the really good ones. I think uh, Dive Man stage is up there as well. And since we'll be seeing Dive Man in this game, we'll get to see how the Game Boy rendition turns out. If it's, you know, just as good as the NES original. On the whole, even this whole stage has been kind of either easier or more forgiving or something. We're not at miserably low health, and <laughs> things are going smoothly uh, up until we have to, you know, rush coil through here. But still, that's not so bad. And yeah, no, after all that, <laughs> I'm not taking damage to one of these spinny thingies. No idea what the name of them is. Uh, Usually I'm better prepared in that area. I know the name of a freaking lot of Mega Man enemies, but wow! Seriously, it's like the game flipped its switch from stingy bastard to really generous nice guy. You know, I don't even care about that one hit. We're doing so well in health and everything else. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, that one. I'm not taken. <laughs> Alright, so... Bust out the old Dust Crusher. And I'm sure they wanted to go with Dust Buster, but, you know... Copyright infringement and all that nonsense. Yeah, right. Eh, the shield weapon. There's always a shield weapon. And in this case, it is Skullman. I'm sure that was a point of... You know, a thing they were certain to make sure of. That there was, even in these ones that were taking half from one game and half from another, that they still ended up with only one <laughs> shield weapon per game. Because no one likes the shield weapon. Skullberry, in this case, another one that I had entirely forgotten the name of. I will admit that I'm not too good at the uh, Mega Man 4 weapon names. I do remember Dive Man, so his is just Dive Missile, so that's very easy. Alright! 
very impressed with the uh, Game Boy rendition of Dive Man stage theme. This is very nicely done. <laughs> and there's the whale thing. Kind of a shame that we don't get the uh, Mega Man 4 special items. In a uh, Pharaoh Man stage, you could find. Ah, uh, dang it, now I don't remember which is which. I think Pharaoh Man stage had the balloons, and Dive Man stage had the wire. They were two weapons unique to Mega Man 4. The wire allowed you to uh, hook onto ceilings and drag yourself upwards. The balloons were just sort of floating platforms that you could plop onto things like uh, the horrible sand in Pharaoh Man stage that you would otherwise sink into. But yeah, they were really nifty additional items which you could get uh, in addition to the basic rush coil and rush jet. Don't remember if uh, Rush Marine was a thing in Mega Man 4 or not. I don't think it was, though. Oh, well, <laughs> that's what I get for reading the chat and not looking at the screen. So yeah, good night, who? There we go. Feels like they made them easier to kill in this version. Like, I remember them being a much bigger pain in the, uh, you know, actual... <laughs> well, I say actual, but you know, the not <laughs> Game Boy version. Wow. Again, that felt an insane amount easier to kill than it did on the NES. No, no, that's... Come on, we're, we're not gonna have a Met Hat. There. <laughs> I took a little bit too much time to kill for a Met Hat. Oh, okay. Swims right over us, that's a thing. <laughs> hey, hey, how you doing, Eddie? I always initially thought that his name was just Fliptop. It was not until some time later that I learned that his name was actually Eddie the Fliptop. That, you know, Fliptop was like his species of robot or what have you. <laughs> Although I will say I kind of do prefer Fliptop as a name rather than Eddie. Eddie just seems like not a robot's name. <laughs> yeah, of course. Had to happen eventually, but at least we have a backup save, which isn't too far back. Let's see if we can get something better. Nope, same exact thing, if I recall. Say I'm honestly not sure why I didn't have a backup save closer than that one, but oh well, it doesn't really matter if we're already back here. And all is well. Ah, I was hoping I could quickly slide through and not deal with other nonsense. But hey. Ah, dang it, man. I don't even know what to call that thing. Metal spiky jellyfish thing. Being annoying. Okay, <laughs> just had to be sure. Make sure there was absolutely nothing hidden.
I will say that the underwater effects feel a little bit floatier here on the Game Boy than they did on the NES. It's just a little bit harder to control yourself while underwater. Oh, jeez. Ah, skull barrier. Gotta use it on Dive Man, and it's not fun. It's not fun on the NES, and it's not fun here on the Game Boy. But at least it's easy. <laughs> well, easier because I was safe stating, but still pretty easy. Alright, on to the very last one. Well, very last Robot Master, then we have some number of Dr. Wily Castle stages. Oh, and hey, Veld! Welcome to the, uh, Lexi Games, finally. Hmm. A little bit less of that. And we have a pretty good rendition of a Trill Man song. Not really a great rendition, but pretty good. And still not quite high enough on lives that I am able to walk past an extra one. Don't know why that Hammer Joe is there. And you can just slide on past him. And yeah, you... not gonna deal with you either. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, that thing we will deal with. Or maybe not. <laughs> it's fun not dealing with enemies. Just sort of walk on by. Oh jeez. Okay. <laughs> Had no idea that would be a thing. I just saw a spike, so I was like, uh -huh. Oh, wow. Oh, that is very nice there, game. That is something which is not in Mega Man 4, but it is very well done right there. Definite kudos for that one, game. Yeah, just, yeah this is a thing. These falling boulder shrapnel things are a thing in Mega Man 4, and they are annoying as hell. <laughs> for that reason... Eh, that reason exactly. Hmm. Could have gotten through there easier, but that's okay. And we could rush jet under him, but... It's just a hammer, Joe. It doesn't take that long to kill him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and we have to use a rush thing anyways. Thanks for that, game. No, no, not underneath. Ha, huh, didn't get me that time. <laughs> That's not fair. That's <laughs> just not fair, game. And yeah, well, I'll be down here. And that will be a bottomless pit, yes. Ha <laughs> ha. It's always nice when I manage to slide out of things that I probably should take damage from. Ah, dang it. Don't care. Just gonna slide on through. And you again. Hmm, no, 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 none of that. Oh, right, I should, um, oh, hey. Did not <laughs> expect to be able to pause in the middle of the boss appearance, but sure. 
Okay, and wow, do we have it on easy mode or something? Because that just tore him apart. Don't remember it being quite that easy or, you know, taking that few number of hits. Anyways, yeah, drill bombs, if I remember correctly. Yeah, drill bomb! And with that, we can move on to... <laughs> ah, nice. Old Dr. Wily sprite. Yeah, you know, I had been thinking that I would not do a Mega Man 3 mascot. That, you know, I have enough Mega Man mascots already and everything, but... I also figured that the music in this would be very unimpressive. And I was proven way wrong. The music in this has been quite good. So yes, now we have in all five of these Mega Man Game Boy games, each one has a unique character. Now we have Quint and Punk and Balad and two others I am entirely forgetting. I think Quint was in the first one, although I'm no longer certain. Might have been the second. This one here in the third, this is Punk. Just sort of a spiky shielded kind of guy. And the one... Uh, no, never mind. I was thinking of the one that used the uh, robot pogo stick who had eyes, Sakugarn, but I think that was uh, Quint. Anyways, uh, go play Rockman 4 Minus Infinity. That also has these special robot masters from these Game Boy versions in amazingly awesome forms. They're basically skill bosses where, you know, beating them takes a lot of skill and you gain their weapon and, like, you need to use them perfectly in order to get other special things. <laughs> But yeah, just Rockman 4 minus Infinity. Look it up. It is an amazing Mega Man 4 ROM hack. Easily the best Mega Man ROM hack I've ever played. Alright, so now we move on to Dr. Wily's stages proper, the Skull Castle. Very nifty. <laughs> And hey, it even did that, uh, Mega Man 3 riding in on Rush Jet cinematic thing. Of course, I do get the feeling that, you know, because this is getting pretty lengthy for a regular Game Boy game, this will probably be the only stage we're probably going to face Wily at the end of this stage. Also, the fact that we didn't get a Dr. Wily Castle map is pretty indicative of that as well. Come on, timing. A ah, very small window of being able to shoot those things and also not get hurt. A little bit early there, but yeah, there we go. That was more than a little bit annoying. <laughs> 